Hello, in this video we're going to look at angle aggregation. So we're going to start with the consumer's budget constraint. M is money income and it equals the price of good X times the units of good X plus the price of good Y times units of good Y. The demand for good X is going to be a function of the price of good X and a function of income. So here is the ordinary demand, Marshallian demand for good X. And likewise the demand for good Y the ordinary or Marshallian demand for good Y is going to be a function of the price of good Y and money income. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute these uh, ordinary demands into our consumer's budget constraint. So for X, I just have the ordinary demand for good X as a function of its price and money income. And I do the same thing for good Y. We're going to differentiate both sides of the above equation with respect to M, income. And you'll get something like this. So the left-hand side derivative of M is just 1. And we get this following result on the right-hand side of the equation. The next step is on the right-hand side of the above equation, we're going to multiply the first term, okay, this first term here, by XM divided by XM. And then we're going to do this similar thing to the second term. We're going to multiply the second term right here by y times m divided by y times m. So doing that, the equation now becomes the following. And moving on to the next slide, just rewriting that last result. And now just rearranging some terms on the right-hand side going to take one of these x's up here and going to multiply just move it over here uh, price of good x times x going to take one of these m's and just move it under that we get this result and doing a similar thing over here just moving these y and m terms around a little bit and now let's interpret what we have on the right hand side this first term right here the price of good x times x that's just a total spending on good x divided by income, that's just going to be the share of income spent on good X. This next term is just the income elasticity of demand for good X. Okay, that's the formula for the income elasticity of demand for good X. And then likewise for the remainder of this equation, we have the share of income spent on good Y in red here. That's just a share of income spent on good Y. And then the remainder of that is the income elasticity of demand for good Y. So just making some substitutions then, we have the following result. And this is Engel's aggregation. So Engel aggregation is the share weighted income elasticities of demand are going to sum to 1. So the share weighted income elasticity of demand will sum to 1, and that is referred to as angle aggregation. This will work equally well for three goods, four goods, five goods, or n goods for that matter. All right, uh, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.